Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video and today I'll show you how to downgrade the firmware on your Huawei smartphone. So this works on pretty much all the Huawei devices. You just need to be careful to pick the right firmware for your smartphone. But well, why to downgrade? Now in order to install Google on your Huawei smartphone, you mostly need to downgrade because on the newer firmware right now, it's not possible to do um, the Google workaround anymore. So well, luckily due to XDA and some nice members there, there's a cool guide on how to downgrade your Huawei smartphone down below in the description. And today I'll show you how to do this. So we're using the Huawei P40 Lite right over here. It's a really nice budget phone, which I've been using for the last two months. And in order to install Google on the smartphone, we need to downgrade the firmware. You don't need a computer for that, but you do need an USB OTG adapter. And you can get this very cheap from Amazon, so make sure to check out the links down below in the description. And now, let's go. All right, guys, so now I'll show you how the downgrade works. Now, first of all, there's a link to XDA down below in the description, so make sure to check it out. This is actually the Google Fire installation thread and it's made by Bender007 so big credits to this guy for finding out so many things and creating the Google Fire. Now for downgrading there is also if you go down there you go to post number three and that basically tells you how to downgrade. So if you don't understand something here in the video make sure to read um, the instructions right over here. So, first of all, you have to go to the firmware um, guide, which is right over here. And you need an USB OTG adapter. Now, a USB OTG adapter is something like this. So, you basically have here a Type-C port. Here you have a USB-A port and you just plug in there your USB drive, like um, this one. This is needed because we're going to download the firmware on the smartphone and then copy it to the USB drive and then go to the recovery to install the older firmware. All right, guys, now, first of all, you have to download the correct firmware and you can find all firmwares here in this thread if you scroll down a little bit. Now, first of all, you need to find out um, which modem and which model you have. So in order to do that, you go to the settings, you go all the way down to about the phone right over here. And here you see the model is the JNY minus LX1. So this is the model you want to look for. My current um, build number is 10.1.0. Now in order for this exploit to work, you actually should be on 10.0.1.111. And this is the firmware we are going to download right now. So just hit the download button and it's now gonna redirect you to Google Drive and you just go here to download. And okay, you cannot download, there are too many viewers. Okay guys, I was now a little bit out of luck because too many people are downloading it. I now downloaded from Download GSM. I paid a membership for $8. I will re-upload the file. So please, if this was helpful, leave a like. All right guys, so I just had to download the firmware on the computer because while well, on the mobile, all the servers were overloaded. But well, um, you can also download on the computer and just copy on the USB drive. Or if you download on the phone, I will just show you in a second what you have to do. So, um, plug in the OTG adapter and there we go. So the USB drive, as you can see, is plugged in. And now there's the file manager, which you can see right over here. It will automatically detect the USB drive, as you can see right over here. So here you can view um, what's on there. Now, if you have downloaded um, the firmware on your smartphone, you go to the download manager and you hold on it and you extract it. Then you move the so-called deload folder onto the USB drive. The deload folder is this and it contains the firmware as you can see. So it must be on your USB drive. If that's on your USB drive, we are actually ready to go. So once that's on the USB drive, you open up the dialer and you put in this number. So star hashtag star hashtag 2846579 hashtag star hashtag star. So now you're in the secret Huawei menu and here you go to actually software upgrade and you choose right over here the memory card upgrade. So if you hit the OK button, then your phone will automatically reboot. But don't be scared, it's rebooting into the recovery and it will actually start the installation from the deload folder on your USB drive. So as you can see, the phone is rebooting right now so we already see the Huawei logo, that's good. And there we go, we just have to wait a little bit, guys. 
All right, guys, and what you see right now is the EMUI update. And now this can really take some time depending on how long it will load the firmware from your drive and how fast your drive is. Now wait for this 200% to complete and then you can reboot and then you have finally downgraded your smartphone. But just be 100% sure that you have the right firmware on there because, well, if you don't have the right firmware, you will get wrong firmware version and you just have to press restart and you cannot flash it. So make sure it's the correct one. Download links are down below and make sure to check them out. All right, guys, and once you have downgraded your smartphone, you can actually follow my tutorials like the Google Fire tutorial or the other tutorial and all the links are down below in the description. So make sure to check them out to enjoy Google on your Huawei smartphone. All right, guys, so that's basically it. That's how easy you can downgrade your firmware. Now, the key to success here is to really have the correct firmware for your model. So make sure before you do that, that you actually go on your phone to about the phone, you check the EMUI settings and make sure that you're downloading the correct firmware for your region and for your model as well. And well, um, most of the websites, they actually offer paid downloads, like also GM, GSM um, download or something like that. I'll leave your links down below. Now it's not really expensive. It's around eight to $10 and you can download all kinds of firmwares and one of them will work for sure. But I would really suggest to check out the XDA thread because there they link um, the firmwares. The only problem is that many people are trying to download that and then Google is putting some restrictions on Google Drive. So well, um, just then try the next day if you don't want to pay or as I've said before, if you have any requests, write a comment down below and I'll try to download and re-upload them. But also for me, usually also with the older P40 hacks, kind of, um, yeah, they got restricted by Google. Anyhow, so um, when you have downgraded the firmware, actually all the old installation methods will work. The most important thing is that the LC Play app is working, so the purple app with the Chinese um, icon. If that opens up and works fine, then the installation will work, but you need to be in the correct firmware. So as always guys, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. If it was helpful, I would really appreciate a like. And if you want to see more content, then make sure to subscribe. And as always guys, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet, and I'm signing out. Bye.